Welcome to Buck Beat, a weekly news roundup from East Tennessee State University. This is Richard Lovett. Coming up, bravery and resilience, new pharmacists and physicians, newly commissioned cadets, new inductees, community service recognition, words of wisdom, summer camp, and giving back. First on Buck Beat, a graduate who didn't give up and has a life message to share. 2024 Spring Commencement Weekend at East Tennessee State University included over 2,000 graduates. There were first-generation college graduates and those who overcame challenges. One of those who persevered is Ramsey Sintel, whose path to graduation was not a straight line from start to finish. Sintel's life changed quickly her freshman year at ETSU when she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. The Johnson City native and 2018 Science Hill High School graduate returned from surgery and during the pandemic, she began working in an optometrist's office and landed on a health sciences major. However, there were more obstacles. She was diagnosed with two more brain tumors in 2021 and her best friend passed away in 2022. That didn't stop her. In January 2024, Sintel finished six weeks of radiation treatment, and she's now a college graduate. I'm so excited to graduate. Words cannot really describe how excited I am. I know that I've worked really hard to get where I am today, and being able to just have that piece of paper that says that I did it is amazing. Being able to graduate with my classmates who have been there for me through all of my trials and tribulations means more than anyone could ever know. Sintel also has some advice. Make every day meaningful. That's been something that stuck with me the past couple years. It is so easy to be comfortable, but being purposeful and living out your purpose is definitely so fulfilling. She said her family, professors, and friends went above and beyond to help her return to her normal routine and helped her prepare to graduate this spring. As for her future, Sintel said she's looking into different avenues like PA school and optometry school. Commencement speaker for the May 4th ceremonies was producer, director, and Emmy Award-winning actor Timothy Busfield. He attended ETSU in 1978-79 and went on to a successful film, television, and Broadway career. You'll hear from him on next week's Buck Beat. Up next, a charge to do good. The class of 2024 also includes over 100 graduates from the Bill Gatton College of Pharmacy and the Quillen College of Medicine. Dr. Debbie Bird, Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Interim Dean of the College of Nursing, thanked 40 new pharmacists for the mark they left on the college. We are so pleased that you chose to go on the journey to become a pharmacist with us. You made this college your own and you're leaving it a better College of Pharmacy than the one you found. 2024 marked the 15th graduating class for the College of Pharmacy. The Quillen College of Medicine's 43rd class included 65 graduates. More than a third of the class will remain in Tennessee for their residency, including 15 who will complete residency with ETSU Health. In total, graduates will go to 21 states, more than half remaining in the Southeast. Also on Buckbeat, Commissioned to serve. Commencement weekend included commissioning of cadets in the Army ROTC program at ETSU, which is made up of an elite group ranked first in Tennessee. Seven cadets earned their commission as second lieutenants. The Army ROTC unit at ETSU was first assigned to what was then East Tennessee State College in the 1950s. Since then, the group has commissioned more than 1,500 second lieutenants. Up next, Notable Honors. Eleven members of the class of 2024 at East Tennessee State University have been inducted into the 1911 Society. Named in commemoration of the year ETSU was founded, the organization honors some of the university's most notable graduates from undergraduate, graduate, and professional programs. The 1911 Society recognizes students who have distinguished themselves for academic excellence, service, and leadership. Their contributions and accomplishments will be showcased on the 1911 Society Wall, located on the third floor of the D.P. Culp Student Center. The next story on Buckbeat involves recognition for community service. 
East Tennessee State University's Opal Fry Clark and Dr. Natalie Smith are among the recipients of the 2024 Harold Love Outstanding Community Service Awards. The Love Awards, administered by the Tennessee Higher Education Commission, recognize the community service of students and faculty staff at Tennessee colleges and universities. The program is named for the late Representative Harold Love, who was instrumental in passing the legislation which created the awards in 1991. Fry Clark, one of five student recipients of the Love Award, is a doctoral student in the ETSU College of Public Health, where she works as a data support specialist for the Center for Rural Health Research. Smith, an associate professor of sport and recreation management at ETSU, is one of five faculty staff recipients of the Love Award. Next, letters of insight. Some members of the class of 2024 also shared some wisdom and advice as they wrote letters to their younger self as a first-year student. Responses from some seniors included the importance of finding a balance between academics, friendships, and personal well-being, making use of available resources, celebrating accomplishments, learning from failures, enjoying the college experience, and taking in each day one by one. Now on Buckbeat, a chance to learn more about being a pharmacist. Students interested in learning more about the pharmacy profession can attend the Gatton Rx Summer Camp at East Tennessee State University Bill Gatton College of Pharmacy. It's an overnight camp, June 3rd through the 7th. Registration is $200, and for students wanting to commute, there is a day camp option for $75. Scholarships are available for students who currently receive free or reduced school lunches or who need assistance. The camp is open to rising high school juniors, seniors, and college students. Other levels may be considered on an individual basis. Registration is limited. Campers are encouraged to register as soon as possible. The last story on this week's Buckbeat is about a program where community service is a hallmark. Students in the East Tennessee State University TRIO Upward Bound program have engaged in five major community service projects in the 2023-24 school year, a reflection of the university's commitment to improve the quality of life for the people of the region and beyond. The program encourages volunteering as a form of giving back to the community and exploring different career paths. Upward Bound, a federally funded program through the U.S. Department of Education, is an academic support program designed to increase high school students' opportunities to attend college. Thank you for listening to Buckbeat, a weekly news roundup from East Tennessee State University. Stories originated from the University Office of Marketing and Communications. This is Richard Lovett, inviting you to subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts. Go Bucks!